year-end party, huh? I'm already excited. Oh, let's invite Yoshizawa right away. Thank you for inviting me. Although, I admit, I feel a bit like I'm intruding. There's no need for modesty. After all we've been through, there are no strangers here. Yeah, you really helped him out too. In that case, I'll accept your offer. Yo, I really can't stop staring at that thing you're wearing. <laughs> so it's caught your eye as well. It happened to catch mine while I was strolling through the city. I bought it for myself as a reward for the end of the year. What do you think about the scarf? <laughs> You've recognized its unique beauty as well. I'd say it's a little too unique. <laughs> this fashion chat is fine and all, but if you don't dig into that soba soon, it's gonna get soggy on you. Ah, yes. My apologies. Thank you for the food. It's chow time! Mmm! So good! Sakura-san, you made these noodles yourself, right? They're amazing! You could open a soba restaurant! Oh, thanks. I made a little too much, so if anyone wants a refill... Seconds, please! How fast do you eat? You eat a lot more than I'd assumed you do, Yoshizawa-san. Seriously? While being that thin? Senpai, don't kid them so much. My appetite's totally normal. Breaking news on our top story. After nearly two weeks of silence, the prosecutor's office is planning to move forward with the biggest case of the year. They have announced that they will move forward in the charging of Representative Shido for his confessed crimes. It's finally happening. I was planning on telling all of you about this a little later. This case is all thanks to a certain man's testimony. But I can at least share this one piece of good news with you. And that would be? The woman involved in his false charge case has finally come forward and provided her testimony. I can't say for certain yet, but his criminal record may very well be overturned. For real? And that's wonderful! Congratulations, Senpai! Of course, this is highly confidential, got it? What great news! Looks like we really will be having a happy new year. This is incredible! It's an actual, real-life good ending! And after that, the two-hour New Year's special of Tokyo Vice. A thrilling tale jam-packed with some of the network's most famous faces. I'll never give up! I've been seeing this guy on TV all the time lately. Oh yeah, he's a model-turned-actor. With a figure like that, I can see how he's gotten so popular. So he's popular, eh? If I were more like that human... Maybe Lady Anne would... The year is winding down to its final moments. Let's take a look at how people are spending it all across the country. Now that I'm thinking about it, hell of a lot sure did happen this year. Right? It's like, how many years of our lives did we actually live through this year? I doubt we'll experience anything even similar to it for quite some time. Well, this is just from my point of view, but I really hope that's the case. <laughs> and I guess starting next year, we'll just be good boys and girls at school. If that's the case, then I assume you'll be able to handle your summer break homework on your own, right? Please don't go there, senpai. I don't think I see that happening. <laughs> okay, that's a fine. Fine, dude. fine. <laughs> can't do it alone. I mean, what do I even do as an honor student? <sighs> so much has happened over the past 12 months. But in the end, we got to spend it together like this. I want to believe that this was a great year for us. Yeah, I don't have any proof, but I feel like next year is going to be even better for us. I feel the exact same way. How strange. Well, that's only natural, considering how pleased we are with our end-of-year celebration. Young people have been gathering in Shibuya all day for the big countdown at midnight, and this crowd is... I really don't want to get going, but it seems like it's time. See you next year, right? 
Next year? <gasps> Sojiro, Oseji time! Get those New Year's dishes ready! Chop, chop! And don't forget the black beans! Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. If I start prepping the beans now, they'll be ready by the morning. Don't worry about the food. You just go have a good night's sleep. Tell this to the others, okay? But even after I disappeared, I was still vaguely conscious. And being separated from all of you was really scary. I thought, if it's even a little bit possible, I wanted to come home to you guys. That's why I'm so glad I was able to come back here. If that's what you want. Well... It's pretty late. Let's get to sleep. I know I've said this before, but I hope we keep sticking together like this. Resolves to track meets alongside everyone else on the team, and eventually I'd get a hold of some scholarships for college to make things easier for my mom. If that never happened, I would have gotten to enjoy my time in high school with Shiho. supporting the family. It's unrealistic to demand any more. I'm helping Okumura Foods grow, with my father watching over me.
Good morning. on you. Sorry to make work your first activity in the new year. Oh, that reminds me. Happy New Year. And I hope you'll continue getting along with Futaba and myself. We're especially grateful you're open today. You know how everything on TV for New Year's is the same old, same old. Say, boss, don't you have any plans for this morning? I could cook some up, so long as you serve yourself everything and pay your bill on the way out. Ah, right. <laughs> Can't exactly make plans when you've already got customers. How about you, young man? Are you going to the shrine for the new year? That's a wise choice. Happy New Year. That's what you say today, right? Who am I? Are you still half asleep or something? Oh, looking sharp. Oh, you look absolutely lovely, Futaba-chan. <laughs> I picked it out with my mom. Sorry, I don't want to be late to the shrine. More showing off comes later. Well, time to make like a tree. The year's first shrine visitor. What do you think we should do? Well... Perhaps we don't need to go this year. We don't have any more wishes that need granting. What's up? Did you have plans for today or something? Oh, come on, you should have just said as much then. I'll be fine here, so off you go. Have fun. Oh, but it's pretty cold out there, so don't forget to dress warm so you don't catch a bug.
Do I look weird? <laughs> mm -mm. Sorry for the short notice. I couldn't send you a New Year's card, so here we are. <laughs> well, shall we? people here at all it's really unexpected i'd almost prefer the usual crowd yeah, and the end of the year was just a few hours ago mm -hmm. believe it or don't only 364 <laughs> days until the next one that is true but i know i'm gonna use the wrong year for a while well i have an idea new year's party tonight to help switch <laughs> gears uh -huh. huh didn't expect you two here <laughs> Coincidences can there be in one day? And a good morn unto you all. I haven't seen you in absolute ages. <laughs> we were hanging out just yesterday. Oh, I guess we all had plans to drop by here first thing today, huh? That would explain what led us to the shrine, but to this spot at the exact same time? Talk about incredible happenstance. Indeed, but due to this fortuitous turn of fate, I am able to witness this mesmerizing sight. Truly the embodiment of Japanese beauty. What are you doing, Kitagawa-senpai? Just ignore him. It's like a fit he gets into sometimes. So, what do you want to do after this? If we've got the time for it, why don't we grab something to eat together? I'm sorry, I'll be heading out with my family once we're finished here. I have somewhere to be as well. Me too. I'll be dining with my father somewhere. I'm gonna hit up some New Year's sales with my mom. Well, looks like you're all busy. And maybe I should hit up the track team and see what they're up to. Ooh, I'll get in touch with Shiho and find out if she has any plans yet. Well, I guess we'll all just go do our own thing then. Mm hmm See you later. Looks like it's just us now. I was wondering earlier, what did you wish for at the Shrine Senpai? You're starting the new year with quite the passionate wish, Senpai. Me? Well... Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? It's from my dad. Uh... He's telling me that some relatives have come over to the house, so I have to go home and spend some time with them. He decided to come all the way out to the station to get me. My family is kind of serious about their get-togethers. I'm really sorry. I was the one who invited you here and everything. At least allow me to accompany you to the station. You should hold on to your sleeve. That is your dress kimono, after all. <laughs> who do we have here? I believe this is our first time meeting. This is my senpai. The one I told you about before. My senpai who's done so much for me. Oh, so you're her senpai. My daughter talks about you all the time. D dad not all the time. <laughs> is that not so? I was told you picked these out for me, too. I know it's pretty late for it, but thank you all the same. Dad wears them all the time, even at work. I'm quite the fan of them. Well, shall we get going? What? Hmm? Something wrong? Uh, no. Nothing. Well then, Senpai, please excuse us.
What's up? Who am I? Hey, you've been acting kind of weird since yesterday. What's going on? Are you two still sleeping? Your lunch is gonna pull a vanishing act if you don't come down soon. Ooh. Oh, you can go on ahead. I'll be down in a sec. These beans are the best! They're all perfectly shaped and so shiny. Looks like your recipes have reached housewife-level quality. You trying to get hitched sometime soon? <laughs> Thanks, but no. Hey, come join us. Try the sweet black beans. They'll change your life. Good morning. Oh, is this your first gag of the new year? <laughs> Trunk on the spirit of the new year already, huh? I'll warn you not to try any pranks with Wakaba. It'll only blow up in your face. She'll tease you forever until she finally bores herself. You know me too well. Oh, come on. Come on. Your work and your kid were so fulfilling for you. Why'd you have to die so suddenly? What's up? Not feeling so good? He's been like this since yesterday. Morning, Mona. Morning. Do you think there's enough Osechi for me to join you? What's that a question? Of course I'm me. Seriously, are you alright? Okay, that's enough joking around for now. Go ahead and grab a seat. I bet you're just hungry. Thank you for the food. I can't remember the last time I actually got to relax and enjoy myself on a New Year's like this. I'm stuffed too. If only I had something to cap off this meal. Like a cup of coffee? Boy, that was a subtle request. Oh, does anybody want dessert with their coffee? I'll go pick it up. My treat. You want a Mont Blanc, right, Mom? Oh, how kind. Thank you. All right, I shall return. Be careful. What's the matter? <sighs> Sorry, we haven't opened for the day yet. My apologies. I merely wish to speak with him for a moment. Why don't you go and get some fresh air with him? I'll stand guard over your dessert for you. You say that now, but when he gets back and his dessert's gone, I'm pretty sure he'll suspect it was an inside job. I can definitely see that happening with Mona on guard duty. Hey, come on, guys. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I guess I'll start the coffee. You know, don't you? We have to discuss this. That's right. Just like you seem to be. Come on. Well then, let's try to sort through this situation. That seems as good a place to begin as any. At the end of last year, I turned myself into the police as the perpetrator of the serial psychotic breakdown incidents. Your memory of this is still intact, correct? Ah, yes. So, my final enemy is a puppet version of myself. I... We have greater concerns right now. In fact, I'm a bit offended you think so little of me that you expected me to be dead. Perhaps the most confusing part of my story comes post-detainment. 
Obviously, I was thoroughly interrogated about my involvement in Shido's case. But for some reason, after questioning, I was suddenly released. No explanation whatsoever. I agree. No matter how one attempts to rationalize it, my release is extremely unusual. More than that, it should be impossible for them to release a confessing suspect after only a brief interrogation. But what's even more unbelievable to me is... That's right. Wakaba Ishiki. I can't believe she's been brought back to life. For the time being, you seem to be the only one who's still in their right frame of mind. I should get to the point. Let's make a deal. What say we join forces on this? You know, that's uncharacteristically cautious of you. I don't believe we have the time for such an approach here. For the time being, you and I share the same goal. To solve this problem, don't you agree that it'd be safer for us to partner up? Have you made up your mind? Allow me to remind you that we are equals in this endeavor, understand? Anyway, let's get to the matter at hand. First, I need information. Can you tell me what happened after... parting ways with me in Shido's palace? I see. Though some abnormalities appeared immediately, the most glaring ones arrived after the New Year. And all of the Phantom Thieves, with you as the sole exception, are living in this altered reality without even realizing it. Go ahead. Senpai, it's Yoshizawa. I'm in Odaiba right now, and, uh... I don't really understand what I'm seeing, but I'm just going to describe it to you. It's that building. It's really faint, but I can see that palace thing that Morgana Senpai mentioned a while ago. Senpai, I know this is sudden, but could you come to Odaiba right away? I understand. I'll see you soon. That was Yoshizawa-san's voice, wasn't it? I believe I heard her say the word, palace. Despite not being in the metaverse, you're planning to meet up with Yoshizawa-san, right? I'll join you. We're all but guaranteed to find a clue there. Now that we've made ourselves a new deal, you wouldn't turn me down, would you? We just happened to be together when he got your call. First a dead woman returns, and now a palace appears. How intriguing. Akechi-san, you know about palaces? Would it help you grasp the situation if I told you that I have the same powers he has? Really? Does that mean you're also... Allow me to stop you there. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves. However, since you've already grasped the concept, it's clear to me that you're a fellow Persona user. Um. Yes, I can use a Persona as well. I'm not a part of the Phantom Thieves either, though. I just so happened to slip into this palace with him and Morgana Senpai a while ago. But what could be the meaning behind its appearance here? I just happened to be passing by on my way home when I came across it. Since nobody else is making a scene about it, I assume others aren't able to see it. Or they see it, but it doesn't evoke any real reaction in them. Yes, that's exactly it. I asked some people in the area, and none of them seem to care at all about its appearance. Hmm. Rather than simply hypothesize out here, we may be better off taking immediate action. You mean, 
we should go into the palace? Not only has a palace manifested in reality, but this is the only one visible to us. I realize I have no proof, but it's highly likely that this is related to our current incomprehensible situation. Wouldn't it be more efficient to just go inside and see what we can learn? That is, if we have the means to do so. Oh, it's... I thought it was gone for good, but it looks like we've regained access to the nav. I have it as well. Is there a search history? Search history? How do I check? Ah, there's one search in the log, but... Ugh. The name portion of the entry has been censored somehow. Could this be the doing of the palace's ruler? Does that mean we can't enter the palace? Well, we do have the search history, so it should be possible to infiltrate it anyway. If you're going in, would you be willing to bring me with you? I can't put my finger on it, but something's been bothering me about this place ever since we first entered it. I promise I won't slow you down. What's your call? That settles it. All right. Let's do it. Now that I'm getting a second look here, I've noticed just how mysterious this place is. What could this building even be? It depends on what the palace's ruler thinks of the place. We'll likely find that out if we keep pushing forward. Is that so? By the way, um... What's the matter? Well, uh, I'm not sure how to put it. True outfit. Oh, you mean this old thing? Yoshizawa san aside, there's no reason for me to uphold the pretense of a righteous, sincere detective prince. Enough chatting. Let's move out. Treasure chest. Care to open it? Focus. Hmm. Depart.
somewhere. Suggestion? Um, can I make a suggestion? Those geysers. You aren't among those who desire salvation. Leave! You are unwanted intruders. Do not disturb our Lord's research. This world's salvation. The language of a shadow is a hint into its ruler's ideology. This one sounds rather cultish, for example. Sorry, but we're going to pass through there now. We don't have the time to waste on peons like yourself. Why do you willingly strive for self-suffering? Why are you reaching out to your own pain? <laughs> Yoshizawa-san, you can do this, right? Yes, ready whenever. It'll be too much trouble to go about this haphazardly. I'll provide the support. Look at this scum pile up. Fine by me. Time for a bloodbath. It's been quite a while. Nothing gets me quite as excited as this. I'll catch you, son. Now, time to obliterate them. Uh, all right. Okay. This won't be so easy. I will break them. Loki! What? Yeah. Screw you! It's time. Some other way. Them. Deadly! Slice 
I think we handled that rather well, didn't we? Especially considering the last-minute arrangement of our team and all. Uh. Yoshizawa-san? Uh, yes. So that shadow, it said something about research, and also something about pain. It mentioned salvation as well. All this seems to indicate that the palace's ruler is not in his or her right mind. Oh? I seem to have found a map to this place. Let's make good use of it. Um, so I've only shared pleasantries with Akechi-san. Would you say this is how he normally is? Like a... a ruthless sort of person. I see. What say we save the idle chatter for later and keep moving? Unless teaming up with a ruthless sort of person is too much for you to handle. Looks like we're busted. There's a safe room somewhere nearby. I'll reveal your true form. Have you got them surrounded? doesn't have a care in the world. You should act that way too. safe room. Shall we take a rest? Do you have a moment?
understand now. Now, let us depart. Let's do it. Let's get back. Everyone will be arriving soon. Mom, Grandma. Yes, she'll be here too. I'm sure she'll be here once she's able to calm down. Oh, why? Why? <laughs> Why? That was your father in the video just now, wasn't it, Yoshizawa-san? And the one he was speaking to. Mm. Sumire, my younger sister. Sumire Yoshizawa. I mentioned to you that I've lost a family member, right? But how was this video? I'm sorry. I don't know what's been wrong with me lately. I've been getting this feeling like... Like I need to remember something, but at the same time, I oughtn't remember it. Hmm. Can you still walk, Yoshizawa-san? Whatever it is that's happening, we have to keep going if we hope to learn more about it. Yes. I'm alright. Let's go. Hey. When was it that you said you became acquainted with Yoshizawa-san? I see. Anyway, let's move out. I suspect we still have a long way to go. It's a treasure chest. This is enormous. What could this room be? Uh, you seem to be in pain again. Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine. It's just that I can't stop thinking about that video we saw earlier. You mean the one about Sumire-san? Yes. Let's keep pushing. I need to find out why that was shown to me. You 
misguided. Do not search for pain. Only tragedy awaits you beyond here. <laughs> A newcomer. All these warnings of pain and tragedy. Who is your ruler? Why do you all think you know so much about me? If you won't give me an answer, then I'll just force my way through. into things just calm down oh, I'm sorry this is it time your attacks with mine uh, right come no brute force won't do anything here they're resistant to physical attacks persona go down Such a fool, rejecting our Lord's mercy. In that case, witness it for yourself. Now what? Oh wow, the crowd is going wild. Their cheers are shaking the stadium to welcome a new heroine to the world of competitive gymnastics. Huh? Yoshizawa san? Your. I really hope this helped you understand. A man's voice. If you keep pushing on like this, you're going to find nothing but heartache. Please, won't you stop fighting this and just return to the current reality? Nothing but heartache, huh? I don't understand what you're saying, but I have no intention of leaving now! We are in agreement there. We also refuse to do as you say. Now why don't you drop the big voice behind the curtain act and face us directly? to that much more readily than I expected. 
Perhaps the palace's ruler really will make his appearance. Thanks for your concern. But I'm fine, really. Let's go. <laughs> Kasumi Yoshizawa, eh? Feel your true form. Pathetic. This enemy is a sad little weakling. Let's put it out of its misery. This enemy is a sad little weakling. Let's put it out of its misery. There. Quite a while, hasn't it? Dr. Maruki! Glad to see you're all doing well. I pretty much figured that you would end up infiltrating this place. Truth be told, this isn't how I was hoping we would meet again. Dr. Maruki, you're the ruler of this palace? Palace? A place where distorted desires manifest. We're asking if you're the source of the desires here. Ah, I see. Well... To use your own words, yes, I am this palace's ruler, but in my case, it seems a tad different from the ones you've seen. Would we also be correct in believing that you're involved in the abnormalities outside the palace as well? Yes, you would. Do you like the reality I created for you? You created it? That's right. I have gained the power to alter reality to make it whatever the people wish for. Well, I definitely understand how this could be hard to grasp. At any rate, our cruel and unforgiving reality is going to change. And that includes Yoshizawa-san's awful past, too. My... past? Dr. Maruki, what do you mean? What's happened to me? All right. I had honestly hoped that all those warnings you were given would change your minds. But if it's your true desire, then I want you to recall who you really are. And I want you two to learn as well. Once you have, you'll need to choose between the two realities. The merciless one, or the one I've formed. Today was brutal, huh? Oh. Feeling okay? It's not that. <sighs> Why am I doing so bad? I keep messing up my routine. Your growth spurts just changed your eye level. You'll get used to it. Look, you're as tall as I am now. <laughs> we practice the same amount. But you are the one who always gets first place. I can't catch up to you, Kasumi. You know why? Because it's my right as the elder sister. We're in the same grade, though. Oh, don't be so down. We'll reach the top of the world together. That's our dream, right? 
You don't get it. Huh? You'll never understand how I feel. What? <laughs> Kasumi, if I were like you, things would be so much better. <clears throat> hey! Wait up! <clears throat> Kasumi's the one that people want. Look where you're going! The light's red! Hey! Yeah! The talented one who can reach the top of the world. Samiri, stop! Listen to me! Samiri! Seems you remembered. That's right. I'm... Kasumi? No. That's not right. I'm... I'm not Kasumi. The girl named Kasumi Yoshizawa is currently deceased. It was last spring. Before I started at Shujin, we were walking home from practice. It happened right there, on that street in the video. I wasn't looking where I was going. And Kasumi, she protected me from the car. I was saved by Kasumi. I robbed her of her dreams, and even her life. I'm her younger sister, Sumira Yoshizawa. I'll take over from here. After all, I do play a part in this story. Her real name is Sumire Yoshizawa. She's Kasumi-san's younger sister, but for months now, she's only seen herself as being Kasumi Yoshizawa, her deceased elder sister. Of course, it was only her cognition of herself that changed. So to the people around her, she was still Sumire-san. For some reason, though, there were a few rare exceptions to this. Did something happen to make you believe she was Kasumi-san? It appears you were clueless, but she was Sumire Yoshizawa from the start. However, when we watched that other video, she gave her name as Kasumi Yoshizawa. Considering such an odd claim, I'd actually suspected for a moment that she was the palace ruler. After Kasumi died, but before I started at Shujin, I received counseling from Dr. Maruki. That was when I told him, if Kasumi is gone and can't make her dream come true, then I want to become Kasumi, so I can turn her dream into reality for her. So that's why you meddled with her cognition? For her own wishes? That's right. Limited as it was, I already had the power at the time to actualize her wish. Put yourselves in her shoes for a moment. Sumire-san's older sister died from protecting her. Imagine surviving such a dismal tragedy. Who would be able to cope with that survivor's guilt, let alone heal from the emotional scarring that she suffered? If Sumire-san can live a healthy, positive life by becoming Kasumi-san, then I believe that reality is what would make her happy. I've had enough of your high and mighty rationalization. All you really did was use her to try and make everyone acknowledge the validity of your research. So that's how you see things, huh? That's quite unfortunate. Of course I wanted society to acknowledge cognitive science through my research. 
But that's because my goal is to save everyone in the world like Yoshizawa-san by ending all suffering. <sighs> my work will convert the wishes of the people into reality, even as we speak. My research is coming to fruition. No one will ever have to suffer again under the yoke of an unfair world. This palace, you called it? It's a place where its ruler's desires take physical form, yes? I wish to utilize my research to save humanity. I suppose that would be the desire I hold dearest. What total nonsense. You could very well be right. Still, I'm entirely serious about changing our imperfect reality. Just as she was saved by becoming Kasumi, I'll save every other person in the world currently suffering. In fact, it's my responsibility to do so. You can see how this world's bestowed the duty upon me. I don't know for certain. It'll most likely be treated as if it never existed. The cruel reality will cease to be, and the reality I generate will be the sole world recognized by society. And you assume we'll buy into your brainwashing and just live in the palm of your hand. Honestly, that sounds absolutely revolting. All right, so that's your answer, Akechi-kun. How about the others? Yoshizawa-san, allow me to ask you yet again, which reality is it that you wish to inhabit? Huh? If you so desire, you can return to your life as Sumire. But if you'd rather continue your life as Kasumi, I can grant that wish for you as well. Dr. Maruki... <laughs> I... <laughs> it's impossible. I'm sorry, Senpai. I... I can't go back to being her. I can't be the one who led her sister to her death. Please don't judge her. This is just evidence of how painful life is for her. You two sense doubts forming in the reality I manifested. That's what brought you here. But please, remember this as well. You two aren't excluded from the people that I wish to save. Come now. Won't you accept my reality for your own happiness? No deal so far, huh? think you're doing with her I won't harm her it's in her best interest that you turn back you've made clear that you reject the reality she desires the reality where she lives as Kasumi Yoshizawa <sighs> It saddens me when you speak that way. Don't you understand? You deny her wishes when you say such things. Her wishes, huh? This isn't just for her. I'm doing all of this for yourselves as well. I honestly do want to come to terms with you. We should talk. Think about it. You both have dreams, no? I have the power to make them come true. My reality can become just the way you like. Total waste of my time. A shame, but I understand. Well then, we just have to resort to force now, don't we? Violence is not my thing. Agree, though. It seems we're out of options here. Oh. 
Time to fight. Are you ready? Keep up and don't embarrass me. Stubborn. Rejecting our lord. Disgusting. We're not here to listen to your bullshit. Oh, yeah. So this is fear. Okay. Let's this go. won't be so easy. You're mine. Okay, this won't be so easy. I'll break them. Piece of shit. Persona! Ravage them! That should do it. What? Let's go. Hmm. Nice time. <laughs> too slow. <laughs> it's useless, <laughs> idiot. Fear my power. Sona, you're mine. down. Uh, so, we're about to lose a lot. Accept his mercy. Give yourselves over to him. Would you just quit running your mouth already? Joker, I'm going to shut that thing up. Give me a hand. You'll pay. Let's go! Out of my way! You little shit! That's disappointing. <laughs> Not bad for an improvised technique. Shall we continue this? I'm fairly certain any further negotiating is pointless. That seems to be the case, unfortunately. But first, I have an idea. Rather than explain it with words, I'd like you to actually see this new reality with your own eyes. I know that your friends are already enjoying it. Hmm. That I cannot do. As I said before, she wishes to live in the reality where she is Kasumi. There's no way I can hand her over to you with matters as they currently are. I already told you that I won't harm her, and I'll swear by it. Don't worry about her. Go. Look at the reality I've created for you all. Once you've seen the results, I know you'll realize which future is best. You think we'll just obey your orders? I apologize, but you really are going through with this, even if it's by force. We'll meet again one week from today. January 9th. I 
genuinely pray that you'll change your mind by then. <sighs> he got away. We shouldn't chase him too far. Let's say we head back for now. I had spent all that time investigating the people around you so I could set you up. To think, Takuto Maruki of all people would be the mastermind behind this absurd situation. And he happens to be warping the very fabric of reality while ranting about making everyone's dreams come true. Talk about incomprehensible motives. I can't even wrap my head around such intentions. At any rate, we need to figure out our next steps. Don't you think it'd basically be suicide to try and save her in our current state? We need intel first. If we're going to stand up to him, we have to know more than nothing. I'll do some investigating on my own. I hate that we have to do what he says, but Maruki told us we have to wait until January 9th. Let's meet up here next week. Although, I imagine both our lives will be very different if you choose to live in this reality as your friends have been.
Hey, you have a minute? You're correct. Reminds me. Do you think? I'm sorry.
You have a minute? No way, man!
Whoa! See ya! Hey, you have a minute?
great! Excuse me? You have a minute? Yeah. 
Time to head home. Let's do it. 